3352. Submitting agent C. Nelson. Confidential. The principals referred to in this report are listed as Barry Wrangler and Tim Gates, both top students at the St. Louis Police Academy, who were subsequently dismissed for failing to answer a variety of charges. In order to best understand the events culminating in last night's shootout in downtown Los Angeles, it's necessary to go back five days. I didn't order a pizza. I don't think so. You're Tim Gates. Yeah, I'm Tim Gates. I'm telling you, I did not order a pizza. Oh, that's too bad, my friend, because I got a beautiful pepperoni and green pepper deluxe. Pizza of pizzas. Now, you know what they say. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Antonio's knows pizza like nobody's business. Oh, 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 oh son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, buddy, how you doing? What the hell are you doing? I'm at 414 Clayton Street, St. Louis, Missouri. I'm at the phone booth behind Antonio's, and it's raining. Oh, come on. Are you still in that dump above the restaurant? Well, I'm waiting for my ship to come in. Is that why you're calling? Actually, no. I I'm, I'm coming out to LA. I don't believe it. Well, you'll believe it when you see the whites of my beady little eyes. Hey, listen, you're the one who told me to come visit. Now, do I, uh, do I need a place to stay? Yellow. All right, boy, it, silence is deafening. <laughs> Listen, uh, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. It's only a couple of days. I'll get a motel. No, 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 no. Look, I, it's, I just haven't seen you in a long time. I just wasn't expecting this. Well, I, I tell you the truth, I didn't really expect to call. Uh, but listen, I, I, I really don't want to put you out. Don't worry about it. Hey, look, you know what? You're staying with me. All right? Not a problem. So when's your flight coming? Uh, Friday, 10.23 a.m. OK, great. And you know what? Dress casual, because the weather here is spectacular. Oh, damn it. I was hoping it would rain. All right, I'll see you Friday. Yeah, I'll see you then. Hey, Tim. Listen, I I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, me too. Me too. All right, I'll see you later. <sighs> Besides run, you lift a tall building? <laughs> no, I just run. Usually from the landlord. All right, well, no landlords this week, okay? Because you're on vacation in Southern California, and I am your neo-native guy. Well, I am all yours. You'd lead me, my friend. Hey, you know what? I could get into some serious trouble if anybody saw me talking to a guy from St. Louis. You know that, right? What? Why? What? What do you mean? Come on. The Rams? The erstwhile Los Angeles oh, Rams? I didn't get them to them? move to St. Louis. Come on. Have you gone to a game yet? No. I, I can't get a ticket. All right. Well, you can get one with me, because I'm all connected, OK? Really? What agency? You know what? That would sure. be great. That would be great. Thank okay. you. So how's Anita? Over. Done. Really? Yeah, a long time ago. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm you ready sorry. for this? No, don't worry about it. She moved to Chicago with Carlin Podolsky. Can what? you imagine? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding you. That fat putz? Uh -huh. Oh, man. Hey, how's Leon? Oh, my old man, uh, he's the same. You know, he's living about 40 minutes away. He's drinking cheap beer and cheaper wine. I uh, see him about every couple of years. Yeah. Works best for both of us. Hey, let me tell you, what do you think? Huh? This is yours? You like? I like it. This is beautiful. Must have set you back, what, like $70,000, $80,000? I think this was 82.5, but who's counting? I had a very good year. I guess so. Hey. What? You drive. Oh, come on. Yeah, really? come on. We'll do a little sightseeing. It's all right. Oh, we'll settle you in on. later. So Go ahead. Man. Oh, this is going to be sweet. All right, where to? Are you kidding? We're in Southern California. Hit it. <laughs> 
I can't believe I haven't come out here before. I must be nuts. I'm telling you, you are nuts. I mean, you could have called me any time. Yeah, you know, but I just wasn't just wasn't ready to deal with what happened yet. You know? Oh, my God, you take things so hard. You know, you should have done like me. You say, screw it. You move on. I mean, you know, there's no percentage in carrying things with you. Yeah, well, you know me. I take things personally. Yeah, I know. I understand, you know. Look, I spent a few years, you know, getting the bitterness out of my system, but I got to tell you something, that money, makes it a lot easier. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Is, is this pretty much what you do all day, or do you actually work for your money? This is it. I'm my own boss, Incredible. you know? If I want a day off, I'm the only asshole I got to speak to. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is paradise. Isn't it? So what is it that you do? I take other people's money, mm -hmm. I invest it. So if they make money, they share some of it with me. The more I make them, the more I make for myself. Simple. Well, not really. So what are you doing? Sell videos? Oh, like a distribution company? No. I manage the video store on Clayton and Wyden. <laughs> Come on, Barry. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You? Yeah. Of all people, I thought you'd be flying high by now. Well, I kind of had my wings clipped. Oh, come on. That happened to both of us. I mean, you can't dwell in the past anymore. I thought you'd go back to law enforcement oh. or something. I tried, believe me. More places and people than I can remember. And so? So I'm getting too old to be a rookie. Oh, come on, man. You know what? I'm going to introduce you to some people. You're going to make some connections. You're going to find something right here. I don't know, Tim. I'm a, I'm a St. Louis guy, you know? <laughs> come on. Don't give me that Midwestern hayseed crap. Come on. It's time to get your life back into gear. That's what you came here for, right? No. No, I came out here for vacation. Oh, please. You could have gone on vacation anywhere. We haven't seen each other in five years. You came here to put the past where it belongs, behind you, and get on with your life. Am I right? Is that obvious? Yes, yeah, that obvious. <laughs> that with the white pasty face you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something. Two days out here in California, man, you're going to be a different man. They're not even going to recognize who Barry Rengler was. Trust me on this, Pally. I know wherever I speak. that Tom Cruise picture? This was it. Are you kidding me? No. This is not real. You know, a friend of mine at the studio mentioned it to a location scout. Next thing I know, they're paying me big money to bring gorgeous women here. I thought I died. I thought I went to heaven. I met three actresses in that day alone. Hey, man. Dino, baby. Hey. Huh? You hard at work? You making me money? That's right. Good. Dean Kessman is Barry Wrangler. Hey. Dean is my uh, personal techno geek, huh? Nice oh, to meet you, man. My, my pleasure. Hey, listen, you know what? Why don't you take that uh, bedroom on the left, uh -huh. upstairs? OK. Get up, Pat. Right. Hey, uh, Dean, nice to meet you. Likewise. Whew. All right. Give it to me straight, Doc. Well, I reseeded all the drive connections, ran a diagnostic on a DRAM. You had some kind of conflict that was corrupting the encoding every time she tried to run the bin hex. <laughs> is my computer working or not? Like she was out of the box. Oh, baby, Michelangelo is a chump compared to you. <laughs> hey, one last thing, very important. Um, my online files, are they secure? Because I hadn't changed my password before the damn thing crashed. They're fine. Yes. Thanks. Fighting broke out overnight between rival factions along the Israeli-Syrian border. In hey, what are you doing? I lost my wallet. Oh, man. Huh. Well, take it easy. Uh, where'd you have it last? 
If I knew that, it wouldn't be lost, would it? This is true. Oh, this is unbelievable. I, I have all my money in there, my ID, everything. All right, look, don't go crazy. Just try to think. Think, where was it? Well, I had it with me when I got on the plane. I'm pretty sure I had it when I got off the plane in L.A. and when I met you. Do you know what? LAX pickpockets. Oh, great. This is great. Now what am I going to do? Now how long is it going to take me to get all that stuff reissued? Especially from Missouri. You know what? Don't even worry about it, okay? I'll cover you while you're here for your no, trip. No, 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 no. I'm no, serious. No. Look, I got the cash. It's not a big deal. You're here anyway. You just pay me when you get your stuff uh, back. See, I hate this. I hate being a pain in the ass right off the bat. <laughs> well, you're a pain in the ass whether you have your wallet or not. What's the deal? Come on, we're friends. I haven't seen you in a long time. Let me take care of you. You know, I'll make some phone calls and try to get this stuff replaced. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. You know what? Just leave that till the morning. It's no big deal. Come on. We're going out tonight. I want you to put on your best threads. Well, he's... These are my best threads. <laughs> this is it? <laughs> this oh, is my it. God. Maybe you'll create a new look. Uh, Midwestern funk. Yeah, I doubt it. All right. Let me help you out. Nah, nah, nah. That's it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. That way, so you don't embarrass yourself. I'm not going to embarrass myself. Well, so you don't embarrass me. <laughs> Where are we going? Just take some cash, okay? Just have some cash. I want you to just have it, use it. Okay. In case of an emergency, okay. you all right? Listen, uh, Vic's the owner. Anything you want, just put it on my account. You know the owner? Yeah, actually, we're partners. In what? <laughs> oh, come on, buddy. What's the matter? You getting a little slow or what? Wait a minute. You, you mean you own this place? Yeah, I got a little piece. No, it's what an investment. investment. I got kind of tight with Vic. Hey, Vic. Hey, it's me. Baby. Baby. Mm. Baby. All right. Now this must be your cousin from Milwaukee. It's actually a very old friend of mine. Uh, cat, bear, bear cat. Hi, actually St. Louis. Nice to meet you. Hey, you've come a long way from St. Louis, Louis. <laughs> That's an old song, in case you don't know. No, I know. So what's up? Are you just visiting or what? Yeah, I'm just visiting. Well, you've come to the right place. If you want, I'll show you around. Oh, come on. It's OK. I'm just Thank being you, Kat. See you later, so... Kat. Friendly later. Hey, is uh, Sid around? She's in the back. Well, send her out, will you? All right. Bye, Louis. Oh, be careful of that one. She's a tornado. Really? That's the point, isn't it? All right, kiss the candy. Hey, there you are. Uh, Sid the Shed, Barry Wrangler, he's a very dear old friend of mine. Why didn't you call me? Joe Milston waited until after 3, Tim. <laughs> uh, Sid handles the PR for the club. I guess I missed a meeting or something. A meeting we've been trying to schedule for a month. Why didn't you call oh, me? Come on, Sid, take it easy. He's an old friend. He came to town. I picked him up. We've just been visiting, all right? You could have called. Uh, look, I... Wrangler, huh? Just wrote in today. Actually, that's, uh, Wrangler, R-E. Ah, how you like in paradise so far, cowboy? Well, I'll tell you the truth, I can get used to this. Don't do that, it's not a good idea. Out here, you never want to take anything at face value. Just remember that. And what? Where are you going? I've got work to do. Nice meeting you, cowboy. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Look, uh, I'm going to go. You know what I mean? I'll be back. In a minute, right? Are you Tim? Excuse me? It's my first 
first night. I was told that this was the owner's table, so you must be Tim. Uh, I actually, I'm a friend of Tim's. Okay. If you're not Tim, then who is? Tim is. <laughs> right. Uh, I'll point him out to you when I see him, okay? Thanks. Well, would you like a drink anyway? Uh, yeah, um, can I get, uh, scotch and uh, soda with a splash, please? Uh, you know what? He's right there. Wow, he has a bit of a temper, doesn't he? I don't think it's any of our business, do you? Brooke. Brooke Ashton. Hi. I'm trying it out for a while, sort of getting used to it. What do you think? Do you like it? I, I thought I needed something more professional sounding, you know, because I'm an actress. But I bet you already figured that out because of my name. Brooke Ashton. Mm -hmm. Mildred. What Brooke. the hell am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Okay. How about getting the man this drink? Excuse me. <laughs> you don't need to rescue me. She was cute. That's what you think. I interviewed her for the job. If you don't stop her, you get her entire life story and no booze. Oh, <laughs> Vic Pennington. Hey, Barry Wrangler. Nice to meet you. It's a nice place you got here, Vic. You a friend of Tim's? Yeah, from St. Louis. I'm out here just visiting. Well, if you need anything, Anything at all, just holler. Your friend of Tim Gates, you got carte blanche here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, look, we're out of here, right? What? I just ordered a drink. Hey, look, you want to have a drink? Stay here, that's fine, OK? But I'm leaving, all right? All right, it was uh, nice meeting you, Vic. Do cool off. Just give him a minute. I don't know what happened, but whatever it's it was. It's no big it... deal, okay? It's not your fault. Sid just like went off again. I, it's just no big deal. I just said it's no big deal, okay? It's nothing right. hey, Once you jump in a sack with a broad, don't ever expect to work with him again. Why don't I learn that? I, you know what? I'm sorry. It's just. It's cool. Forget about it. Sid pushes me to a point of distraction. I. Yeah, I could eat. All right. You know what? If we're back home, 2 a.m., where would we go? Oh, Fitz's, Fitz's. Come right? On. Burgers, oh my fries, God. right? The... <laughs> Kitchen sauce? Yep, absolutely. Oh my God, I can taste the grease. I you mean, I what? dream of it. It's gone. What? It's gone. Fitz Jeez. died. They tore it down, and they put in one of those giant, uh, you know, those giant drugstore chains. Oh my God. It breaks my heart. Well, there's a lot back home you wouldn't recognize. Jesus. <laughs> do you remember that thing that we used to do that would drive the girls crazy? Huh? Oh, God, you know I forgot about that? <laughs> come on, man. You... For old times, oh, like, come on, do it, do it one time. Are you crazy? Yeah, come on, give it to me. One time. Uh, all right. Uh, <clears throat> Barbie. <laughs> 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 Hang on, wait. Barbie, it's Tim. <laughs> Listen, honey, can we go out Friday night? <laughs> uh, no. This is, Bar Barry's the one that suggests that I call you. He knows about this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God, I miss those days. I'm glad you're here. Me too. All right, man. Hey! Rise and shine, campers. It's gonna be a beautiful day in the Northwoods, all right? Uh, hey, listen. I hate to be a rude host, but I'm gonna have to take care of a little bit of business for the next couple of days. Oh, okay. I'll be fine. Well, I mean, it's not quite that simple. I'm gonna be gone for three days. Really? Yeah, I got this client on uh, Catalina Island. So I made him a deal that I would charter a boat, I'd motor over, take him for a little diving, a little snorkeling, and a lot of drinking. Tough assignment. Want me to go instead? <laughs> I would love you to. I mean, like, I really want to pretend to be this guy's best friend for three days just to lock up an account. Yeah, ugly job, but somebody's got to do it, I guess, right? 
You know, I know you don't believe what I do is work. I don't believe it's work. Come on, man, it is, <laughs> it is. But regardless, you know, you're gonna be stuck here alone for the next three days. Yeah, I'll be fine. All right, well, I just wanna give you a little something here. No, 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 come on, take no. Take it, take it, come on, live it up, all right? That's what it's here for, it's here to enjoy and, uh, you know, protect yourself, <laughs> okay? And if there's anything else you need, just call Vic, okay? He'll get it for you. Hey, uh, what about uh, Sid? You oh. can take care of her if you want. Please, trust me. Stay away from Sid. She's a nightmare, okay? Well, I wasn't asking for that reason. Yeah, I'm sure you weren't. All right. Are you okay with this? With this? With, with this house, the, the beach? Beautiful girls, uh, the credit cards, the car of cars? Oh, yeah, the car. There you go. There's a car. <laughs> all right. Have a good time, all right? Have a good trip. Thanks, man. Talking 3.5 mil. Can you cover that? Let me know. This guy's for real. Vic, yeah. Hey, it's me. Listen, uh, I forgot to mention uh, I'm gonna be gone for a few days, okay? So probably getting a couple of calls, maybe some visits from some uh, deals that are still pending. Hey, now don't be putting me into the middle. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Listen, I swear to God, it's okay. All right, it's just stalling a couple of guys. You know what I mean? Some cash flow stuff. Yeah, no, 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 just tell him uh, I'm out, and I'll call him as soon as I'm back in. Okay. Yeah, oh, Vic, hey, listen. Uh, you remember that buddy of mine that was from St. Louis? You met him the other night? Barry? Yeah, 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 that's him. Listen, man, I'd really appreciate it if uh, you just let him have whatever he wants, okay? I'll cover it. Yeah, whatever he needs, whatever he orders. That's it, just put it on my ticket, okay? Got it. Have a good trip. Thanks. Bye. Tim's leaving town? You didn't know. When is he leaving? I don't know exactly. He didn't say. Just that he'd be away for a few days on business. Business, my ass. I wonder who she is this time. Hey, sit, honey. I don't ask, and neither should you. That way, madness lies. What did he want from you? Give messages if anybody calls him. And uh, he wants me to give an open tab to his friend. The cowboy from St. Louis? Yeah. You know this guy? He's an old friend of Tim's. I guess they have a history. Well, I got to get to work. What? You know Tim's friend? Not his usual type, is he? Or yours. You know what? He's an old friend. I guess they have some catching up to do. I don't think so. You know, I saw the way Tim was looking at him when he brought him in here the other day. He wouldn't take that guy to the supermarket if there wasn't a deposit on him. You know something, Kat? I, I don't know what goes on in Tim's head. I just know that I work here, just like you. So let's drop it, okay? Okay. Hey, Lou, 
Pat, right? That's right. Good memory. So what's up? Where's your buddy Tim? Away on business. Oh, and you're filling in for him while he's gone, huh? Doing a fine job, too. Just doing a little shopping. <laughs> uh-huh, I can see. <laughs> so how long have you been working at the club? Oh, a couple of months. Like it? Yeah, it's a job for now. Mm-hmm. Let me guess, uh, you're, uh, an actress. And <laughs> being a waitress in the meantime until the right role comes along, right? <laughs> Well, you know, it's like the big guy said. The whole world's a stage, Louie. Everything's just another part. Even waitressing. What counts is how you play it. So, you and Tim go way back? Far enough. <laughs> you don't exactly strike me as Butch and Sundance. Come on, I'm curious, hence my name. Well, you know what happened because of curiosity, don't I you? I know, I can't help it, it's my nature. So? You and Gates? Uh, well, we were good friends once, a long time ago. Uh-huh, I sense melodrama. I'm hooked. No, no, no. Now it's your turn. <sighs> All right. All right. <laughs> so, um, what's the deal with Tim and Sid? Ah. Well, in this case, what you don't know just might save your cute little butt. Well, keep that in mind. All right. Hey, do you want to buy me lunch? Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm so sorry. I forgot. I can't. I don't have time. Oh. <laughs> um, how about a rain check then? Fine. All right. Cool. Next time then. All right. Oh, and Louie? Any friend of Tim's is a friend of mine. I'll keep that in mind too. You do that. Bye. Bye, Louie. Tim. I, uh, borrowed some of his clothes. That's right. You don't look too close. You guys could be like brothers. You think? Absolutely. Two of a kind. Hey, listen. My shop's just a few blocks down, so I wanted to drop this off for him. Well, okay. He's out of town on business. When he gets back, I'll tell him you stop by. And he left you in charge of the home front? Something like that. So while the cat's away, you're the mouse. <laughs> cool. What the hell? Oh, my God, I am so sorry. It's, uh, it's OK. I'm, uh, I'm OK. No, no, I thought you were Tim. He's uh, all right. What, what are you doing? Oh, when I saw you from behind, I, I saw oh. that jacket and I. Oh, well, I, uh, well, I, I borrowed it from Tim. I, I thought it would be OK. No, it is. It's just I, I gave Tim this jacket. Huh. And it was... Don't worry about it. I'm fine. <laughs> More importantly, what did uh, Tim do to you to make you want to throw something at him? I planned on doing worse than that. <laughs> well, I'll take your word for it. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I don't want to get you caught in the middle of all of this stuff. You didn't answer my question. Oh, right, right. What did Tim do? Let's see. What didn't he do? Your friend's a real son of a bitch, in case you didn't know. Is this a uh, scorned woman talking, or is this a business associate talking. No, no, this is a human being talking. Somebody who is sick and tired of being treated like a stray dog. You know, petted, fed, loved, then ignored, kicked around, and finally locked out of the house. You getting the picture? Uh, well, he's gone for a couple of days. Went to uh, Catalina, rented a boat, said he had a um, lock down an account or something. And, and you believed him. Why wouldn't I? Hey, you don't have to go. I'm not going to call the cops on you. Oh, thank you, but I have work to do back at the club. You want me to tell him you stopped by? You know, if you want to tell Tim something, you can tell him he's a bastard. Uh, you can tell him that we've reached the proverbial end of the road, he and I. You can tell him adios. Um, 
You can tell them to crap out and die. Then I'm just getting warmed up. Do. Trucker strike. Talks are scheduled to resume tomorrow. Meanwhile, here in Southern California, a mysterious explosion has rocked the waters off of Catalina Island. Chuck Williams has more from Marina Del Rey. Bill, the search continues for survivors, but so far none have been found. Coast Guard authorities say it would be something of a miracle were anyone to be rescued now. They'll keep searching until all hope is gone. And they admitted they may never know what caused this explosion. This is Chuck Williams reporting live from Marina Del Rey for KLAAY News. Yeah, hi. I'm interested in a boat you have for rent named Papa's Joy. That craft's not available. Can I help you with something else? Well, I, I tell you, I'm, I'm really kind of interested in that one. My friend told me it was a great boat. Sorry. I got others, though. Well, is it just out, or is it unavailable, or what? Who is this, please? Yeah. Hey, that's you? Your voice sounds a little off. Sorry, uh, I caught a cold. Drink a lot of juices. Yeah, right, thanks. The deal's on, 3.5 in your account today, usual percentage. I'm not so sure. Oh, come on, champ, you can do it. Well, I wouldn't expect too much. Only perfection, as always. I'll be in touch. life doesn't need any spicing. I, I need to speak with Sid. Have you seen her? You know, I know that you're trying to look like Tim and dress like Tim and all that, but seriously, what has she got that so special? You know what? I, I, give me another chance, and I, I next time I'll give you my undivided attention, okay? Hey, Vic! 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 Excuse me. Vic! Hey, why don't you get a friggin' handicap hey, space, I, I, pal? I, you're in my I'm spot. sorry, my friend. I, I just need one second. Vic! Okay? Oh, is that so? How about if I just shove one of these bar stools down your throat? You know what? I, I don't want any trouble, my friend, okay? Just, <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, you don't want any trouble. Vic! Well, how about I blow your stupid brains all over hey, this hey, nice, hey, clean hey. bar? Come on, take it easy, man. Take it easy. What the hell? Where's my hut? That's enough, pal. Time to head home. Sorry about that, man. You looking for Tim? Uh, no, Sid. Hey, I'm right here, cowboy. Uh, can we can we talk in private? Yeah, sure. Oh, um, you might want to hold on to that. that. That guy might want it back. How did you do that? Wow, that was quite a trick over there. Did you learn that in the academy? So you do know about me and Tim? Oh, I've heard stories, but the way Tim tells it, you would have made quite a cop. That's uh, something we'll never know. Um, I have to ask you a question. How much do you really know about Tim's work? Enough. Why? What is it? Is it drugs? Get to the point, Barry. <sighs> Tim was supposed to rent the boat and go to Catalina. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think somebody killed him. There was a report in the news that a boat out of Marina Del Rey blew up off the coast of Catalina and there were no survivors. That's... 
crazy. I mean, come on, there's a zillion boats that go off the coast of Catalina every day. What makes you think this was Tim's boat? Have you heard from him? Well, no, I haven't heard from him, but that's normal. I don't hear from him for days, and it's normal. Okay, well, somebody called the house and said that the money was put into Tim's account and, and that the deal was on. He thought I was Tim. What's the deal? Tim can't be dead, Barry. I'm not saying he is dead. The Coast Guard won't tell me anything, but when I was at his house the other day, I found information on chartering boats, and I think it's the same boat. OK. Um, what do you want from me? Tim and I... Uh, whatever your relationship with Tim is, I really don't care. If the boat that exploded was his, then somebody killed our friend. You don't believe me, do you? Mary, I really wish I did, but I don't know anything. I gotta go. I'll walk you out. Where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna go back to the house, get some sleep, and try to figure all this out. Okay, well, do you feel like taking a walk? I, you borrowed everything else, you might as well take a stroll with his ex-girlfriend. Sure. So tell me about you and Tim in the Academy. He never told you? No, he did. I just want to hear your version. <sighs> 16 kilos of heroin disappeared from the evidence lockup the week we were interning. I didn't do it, but I didn't have an alibi. They suspected Tim. And they squeezed me to testify against him, but I refused to do that. So, to get rid of the smell, they just swept everything and everybody into the carpet. Well, at least you didn't let him turn you into a snitch. Yeah, real noble. Now I sell videos for a living. Why can't you just go to another town, another police force? You can't do that because something like that goes on your permanent record, and once it's on your record, no one will touch you. Mm. The funny thing is, my father was a cop. And I always wanted to be just like him. That's corny, isn't it? No, not at all. I have enough about me. What's in the bag? This? Yeah. This is how I unwind. <laughs> Very. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you come and join me? Come make a fool of no, yourself. No, 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 no. I made a <laughs> fool of myself enough in my life. Now, come on, go on. All right. Well, I was Dean's List at UCLA, poli sci. My dad was in politics in Washington, wanted me to join him there. And then I met Tim. Well, he has a way of changing life paths, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He got me an apartment, and he got me a job at Vix, and... I don't know, he has a way of coming into your life and uh, putting you off balance, you know? Well, anyway, one day I woke up and I realized that my life was so hooked into Tim's that I didn't have one of my own anymore. And I wondered if I could start over. I didn't know if I had enough raw materials to do that. So are you gonna call the cops about the boat? No, not right away. I mean, if Tim was on that boat, they would have contacted one of us by now. And besides, you have to be missing 48 hours before they'll even talk to you, so. So you'll call me if anything turns up, right? Yes. OK. You sure you don't want to come out here? Yes. <laughs> OK, well, get out of here, then. All right. OK. Good night. Hey. This was nice, cowboy.
Hey, Tim, you're home. Jesus, man, you had me word. I thought you bought it. Hey, <laughs> I wasn't him. Tim always answers the phone in Spanish. You know, hola. Signals the party on the other end that it's him. I'll, uh, I'll try to remember that. Oh. You know, I was thinking I had done the rudest thing. I told somebody to call me and then I didn't give him my number. So I figured, would Cowboy be smart enough to go through that entire house to find my number? Probably not. So. Here I am, ready to give you my number so you don't think I was yanking your chain. Are you ready? No, listen, Sid, um, somebody broke in here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, uh, I surprised the guy and he took off. Of course, he hung around long enough to introduce my ribs to my spine, but nothing serious. Oh my God, is anything missing? Well, I really haven't had a chance to check. Did you call the cops this time? No. I'm a little worried to call them. I mean, the burglar could certainly come up with a better excuse than I could for being here. At least he could... He could prove who he is. What are you talking about? Uh, I lost my wallet the first day I got here. My ID, cash, everything. And other than the clothes on my back, everything that I've been using is Tim's, so that might look a little strange to the cops. Yeah, especially if he washes up off the shore of Catalina tomorrow. Nice vacation. Hey, listen, I gotta put this place back together. Okay. Well, get some sleep, cowboy. Maybe you'll wake up tomorrow and find out this is all just a bad dream. Uh, at this rate, I'm lucky if I wake up. Another beautiful day in paradise. All right. Good night, cowboy. Bye. Hey. Hey. Uh, shoot. I forgot to get the number. Oh, what a headache. Good morning. Mm, good morning. Don't forget to roll over. Mm. <laughs> I won't. Wake me at noon, okay? Okay. Okay.
Hey. What are you doing? Well, making coffee. Tim was a drug dealer. I was a dead drug dealer. Tim wasn't a drug dealer. Investment banking, call it what you want. He didn't push it on street corners, but he was definitely involved. You have no idea. Yeah, I have an idea. See, Tim moved money. He brokered deals. And my hunch is he did it all on the phone. This way there'd be no personal contact. Go on. Mr. A's got money to spend. Tim finds Mr. B, who's got drugs or whatever, to sell. Money gets put into Tim's account. They transfer good, money passes. Tim gets a percentage. No fuss, no muss, he's out. Wow, you're a lot smarter than Tim thought. The only thing is, I don't know what the hell his latest deal is. Something weird? Yeah, somebody broke in here and trashed the place looking for something. Our boy was not on good terms with these people. I don't know who he was involved with or what he was up to, but it doesn't take a lot to figure out that it had something to do with that boat blowing up. So what are you gonna do? They still think I'm Tim. Mm-hmm. And they'll still think you're Tim when they blow your head off. Listen to me, cowboy. Get out now while you can. That's the best advice you'll ever get from me. And what happens to you? Forget about me, okay? Because if you go through with this deal, they're going to kill you. You're a nice guy. Don't follow in Tim's footsteps. So you think he's dead? After what you told me at the club, that was my first thought, yes. And then I realized that I had to start thinking about myself. So you're involved in this? I was involved, but I'm not anymore. You know, if I were you, I'd go to the feds. I mean, you have enough information. They'll just let you, they let you walk. They love you. Wait a second. You are suggesting that I become a snitch? I can't do that. I can't trust anybody. Is that why you slept with me? No. I slept with you because I wanted to. This is crazy, cowboy. Don't do it. You can help me or not. All right, if you are determined to do this, this is my advice. I would uh, lay low for a couple of days and get the cash, dish it out, and then get the hell out of town. If you don't owe them anything, they're not gonna come after you. And maybe I can get out of here too. Is that what you want? I'll see you at the club. Since he left, that's not on you. Hey, man, look, let me talk to you in a minute. All right. Hey, Tim. Uh, Barry, Tim's friend, remember? Oh, yeah, I forgot. So where is he anyway? I haven't got the chance to meet him. He's away on business. How about a drink? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm on duty. <laughs> For me. Oh, I'm so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, scotch rocks. With a splash, I remember now. Very good. Hey, how's the acting? I have an audition. Good for you, for what? Video, I think. Uh, anyway, there's not a lot of words, so I should be okay. Yeah, but, well, uh, good luck. Well, you're not supposed to say good luck. You're supposed to say break the leg. I mean, uh, why anyone would want to see someone break someone's leg is beyond me. 
Thank you. Hey, cowboy. Hey. You sure look at home. How you doing? Since last night. <laughs> oh, I'm doing good. Good. <laughs> I get off at 2. I'll be here. Hey, uh, Vic, listen, um, I think that Tim, I think he was involved in a boating accident. You want to explain what the hell you're talking about? Did you see on the news where that boat blew up off Catalina? I think that's the boat that Tim chartered. I think somebody killed him. That you guys were partners, right? We were partners only in this club. I sold him a piece of the action. But you knew what deals he was into. Drugs, maybe? Everybody's got their own opinion. Keep mind to myself. Maybe you ought to do the same. Yeah, well, somebody broke into his house while I was in it. Maybe you ought to just pack up and go back to St. Louis. Maybe. Well, hey, man, I don't know anything, so I can't help you. Well, look, Vic, if you hear anything or if anything occurs to you, will you call me? Hey, Tim said if I needed anything, right? Yeah, I'll think about it. Thank you. Does this seem a little strange to you? What are you talking about? You know, me and you in Tim's bed. Oh, you're more provincial than I thought, cowboy. Mm. I told you Tim and I are no longer. Would it mean anything less if we did it on the kitchen floor? It might be more fun, but... Oh, no. Depending on what tools you're going <laughs> Oh, my God. No, why don't we go to your house once in a while? Sure, sure, whenever you like. How was he? You did not just ask me that question. Well, what's the big deal? That is so stupid. It's not. Why do men always have to... Who am I here with right now? Huh? You. Isn't that enough? You know what? This might be the last time for you to make this deal. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Hola. Where you been? You didn't answer last night. I'm sick. What's up? Can we do business? What do you want? Tell me, amigo. I got if you got. I got 3.5. I cover it. How soon? You in a hurry? The opposite. I need time. Time I don't got. I came up unexpected. Wasn't sure I could do it. Then why didn't you call? Having a problem with my computer. How soon? Two days. Three. Some days I wish I was a lettuce picker. Okay, put it in the account. I told you, I'm having a problem with my computer. <laughs> Not that funny. You know, you live by the computer, you die by the computer. Me, I'm a little old-fashioned. I don't like to use anything. I don't understand how it works. Well, I can't get the money till I get things working again. Sometimes I worry about you, man. I need more time. You try anything funny, you know what happens. Well, that was very impressive. How'd you learn to do that with your voice? Well, um, Aunt Tim used to 
Mess with girls' heads. We used to make believe we were each other and drive them crazy. Oh, how charming. Well, congratulations. You're now a dealer. Drugs? Merchandise. That's the way Tim liked it. It didn't matter what got traded. I'd stick to that point of view. Point of no return, huh? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, if you backed out now, you might make a whole lot of people really mad. So I can get the money. I know that it's in Tim's computer, but I can't access it without the password. Now it's time to make this deal. What the hell do I do? Call Dean. He'll know what to do. And what if he doesn't? Then it was nice knowing you, cowboy. Dean? Hey. Oh, hey, man. Uh, got a, got a question for you. Shoot. Sure. The other day you dropped off some, um, software programs for Tim. Yeah, I promised to clean them up for him. Do you know what was on them? Spreadsheets. Online banking stuff. I set up his whole system. I set up his PC, he gives me stock tips. You think you could retrieve his password? Highly illegal. Listen, you gotta, you gotta trust me on this, okay? Yeah, why is that? Remember the other day when that, uh, on the news, that, that boat exploded off Catalina, you remember that? Yeah, what about it? Tim was on that boat. I think Tim is dead and I think somebody killed him. Well, I don't want no part of this. Look, I, I need to find out who killed Tim and why, but I can't do that unless I get into his files. Go to the cops. No, not yet. Look, you can stand by me, you can look over my shoulder and see that I won't take a friggin' dime, okay? But I have to know what he was up to so I can maybe help him or at least find out who killed him. Maybe somebody did kill him. You know, maybe they'd be after us next. All I'm asking is, is it possible? It's there, on the hard drive somewhere. I mean, the key is figuring out how to expose it. Like a needle in a haystack. Not that bad. But we'll use the power of the processor to help us find the needle. I can't believe I'm saying this. Let me clean this stuff up and, and I'll go with you. All right. Cool, thanks. Anything? Nothing yet, but uh, not to worry. you? I thought you were still away. I'm back. What's up? Your buddy wasn't here. Said he thought you were dead. Something about a boat blowing up. What the hell's going on, Tim? I don't know. He's, uh, he's a little wacky. Forget about him. Why'd you call? You told me you were stalling on some payments, right? Guy was in here looking for you. Really? And if I had to bet, I'd say this guy was used to collecting debts. What did you tell him? Nothing. But Timmy, if I was you, I'd stay on my toes. This guy looks like he maybe eats small children for breakfast. All right, Vic, thanks. Sure thing. I'll get back to you later. Oh, Vic. My friend Barry Wrangler? You still want me to give him an open tab? I think the guy's a little too nosy if you want my opinion. He's a good friend of mine. You give him whatever he needs. Whatever you want. Thanks. Bye. What do you want? Get the hell out. Leon. I'm not buying nothing. And I'm not signing nothing. <laughs> Come on, you don't remember me? No. Should I? Who the hell are you? Leon, it's Barry Wrangler. Jesus. It's been a long time. I know. Since you left St. Louis. You want her from Tim recently? I told him. 
I don't have room for all that stuff he's keeping here. Not a friggin' storage locker. You come all the way out to L.A. to have to come to me to find him? No, not exactly. I've been with him. Matter of fact, I'm staying at his place. Only thing is, he had to go out of town on business, and I was wondering if, um... Hasn't he given you enough trouble already? Come on, Leon. It was a long time ago. It wasn't his fault. The Academy made scapegoats of all of us. You were always a smart kid. Smarter than him. What I thought. Maybe not. Leon, um... There's a good possibility Tim is dead. He rented a boat and was going to Catalina, and there was an explosion. Accident? Maybe. Maybe not. You're not sure? No. Figures. All the crap he was into. Wallow in the mud, you make enemies with the pigs. Just wondering, Leon, if there was, uh, if there was anything you'd heard. No. That's it? What do you want? You want me to fall apart? Leon, is there anything you, you need, anything I can get you? Nothing you can give me. Well, um, if you do hear anything, I'd appreciate a phone call. I'll be at his place. Excuse me. You live here? What can I do for you? You know someone by the name of Barry Wrangler? R-E-N-G-L-E-R, Wrangler? Barry Wrangler? Yeah, do you know him? Yeah. Well, he was involved in a boat explosion. That one that I saw in the news? Yeah, the charter operator said he was the one who took out the boat. And how'd you end up here? Mr. Wrangler's from St. Louis, and the record shows that there was a phone call made from here last week uh, to the Missouri DMV requesting a reissue of his driver's license. How well did you know Mr. Wrangler? You asked me that like you think he's dead. Well, I'm afraid that uh, he probably is, Mr. Gates, Tim Gates. Uh, I knew him very well. He was a good friend of mine. Yeah, well, Mr. Gates, I'm afraid it's very likely that your friend uh, died in that explosion. Now, anything you can do to help us out would be greatly appreciated. Well, uh, I came ahead to visit. Uh, he's got some stuff in the house if you want to check it out. You know something? He told me that he lost his wallet, but I, I never really thought anything of it. Hmm. Well, that's another odd fact, because we found the wallet in the debris after the explosion. You found his wallet? Yeah, that's how we identified him as the person who paid for the boat. You told me he lost it. So then I assume you know nothing about any of this? No, nothing. Well, you call me at this number if anything comes up? Yeah, sure. All right, thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay.
Ooh. A sense of tension in the air. Don't you think? All right, here's the thing. I know there's a young lady asleep in the next room. I would hate to wake her. You agree? I think you do. Because if she wakes up, I have to kill her. And I know you don't want that. Right? Do we have an agreement? I think you know why I'm here. You sure do. You've been holding on to cash that belongs to someone else, haven't you? Okay, I understand you're concerned about not making any noise. The least you could do is not. I mean, just to be polite. Good. There's a growing concern gnawing at my clients, Mr. Gates, that perhaps you do not intend on ever paying them. They're worried that because you normally deal with sedate professionals, that you feel that you can do this with a sense of impunity. He has asked me to impress upon you the extent to which that thinking is an error and that he expects his money within a matter of hours. You know, it's actually good that you're so uncommunicative because I'm not here to discuss the relative points of the issue. I'm simply here to deliver a message through the impressive use of multimedia tools. Such as this one. God in his infinite redundancy has given you another over here. So if I ever decide to come back, you're not totally deaf. I'm glad we could have this talk. I've enjoyed it immensely. I look forward to our next visit. I said, I think I'm falling in love with you. Get out now, cowboy, please. This isn't high school anymore. And what about me and you? <laughs> well, you're not much good to me, Dad. Go home, let the dust settle. You know how to get in touch with me. Can't do that. God, you're as bad as he is. Why not? Because the guy just tried to shove a pencil in my ear. This is personal now. No, no, it's stupid. Why do I always have to get myself involved with guys like you and Tim? I have to find out exactly what Tim was up to and how I fit into all this. I want to spend the next five years of my life wondering. That's what this is all about, isn't it? Partly. That happened a long time ago, Barry. It's not worth getting dead over. You know, he used my name to rent that boat. I didn't lose my wallet, he stole it. And then he switched the pictures on the driver's license. He was skimming. And God knows how much, but he owed somebody big time. And he decided to let me take the punishment for him. It's an old familiar trade of his. I've forgotten how much it pisses me off. Okay, say that they killed Tim on the boat, right? Why would they be coming after you now? I, don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. What was the return on his investments? He'd give out 90, take 10 as a fee. 10%? Mm. So $3.5 million, he'd make 350,000. Wow. 
That's the way Tim liked it. Work a couple of weekends and take the rest of the year off. He thought it was a nice lifestyle. Well, who wouldn't? Unless you get blown into a million pieces. I'm gonna ask you one more time, okay? Let's start over again. Let's leave this place. Let's go someplace together. Take me to St. Louis. I said what you're looking for doesn't exist. There's no house with the white picket fence and the two and a half kids, golden retriever. I mean, aren't you the one who told me don't take anything out here at face value? All I know is that Tim is dead, and I don't want to lose you two. It's one, one final deal. One final deal that's going to get you killed. Why the hell would you want to do that? Because for the past five years, I've watched my life go down the toilet. And if I don't put the past behind me now, I'm never going to do it. What can I do? Back again? Yeah. I told you I don't hear from him. I talked to the authorities. And as far as they're concerned, it wasn't Tim on the boat. Can I come in? Hey, you said Tim ought to move some things out. What things? Hey, come on. Leon, talk to me. Leon. I came in about a week ago, put a bunch of stuff here in the extra bedroom. Clothes, supplies, boxes full of stuff. He told me that I hadn't seen you in years. I hadn't. Till he come over to store all that stuff here. I told him I didn't want it here, but he said it would only be for a couple of days. Can I get you a beer? No, thank you. He, he stole my wallet and he, he used it to charter that boat. And he switched the pictures and pretended to be me and I, I'd be mistaken for him. What do you want from me? He owed somebody a lot of money, Leon. He tried to get away, but he couldn't make it. They were onto him. You still haven't answered my question. What is it you want from me? I want to know what happened back in St. Louis. His mother used to say, you two boys were just like brothers. No. No, we were never like brothers. Not Tim. He used me to cover his tracks because he knew that I would be the last guy to tell. He used me, didn't he? You were the top recruit in that class. He could never be what he knew you were. He figured if you were under suspicion, it would confuse their investigation, throw him off the trail. And he was right. Yeah. And nobody said a word. Just, just left me hanging, swinging to the breeze. Oh, I tried. But his mother, she was going to protect him no matter what. You didn't matter, I didn't matter. It was only Tim. Why now? After all these years, what difference could it make to you now? Because history's about to repeat itself. I'll tell you what, Leon, I, I really don't feel like being dragged along this time, so... I'll see ya. What's the problem, Louie? Look like you're trying to drown something. Vacation's almost over. That's too bad. I'm gonna miss you, Louie. 
Things have gotten a lot more interesting since you came to town. Thanks. Hmm. What are you doing? What's this? That's your ticket to St. Louis. What are you talking about? I used Tim's credit card. For once in my life, I'm going to take advantage of the opportunities presented to me. I don't understand. This is what you wanted, isn't it? The uh, picket fence, the whole nine yards. Here's your chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, did you get in? Oh, yeah, that part was easy, but you're not gonna believe what I found once I logged on. Uh, don't tell me over the phone, I'll be right there. This stuff's gonna blow you away. Okay. That was Dean, it's got Tim's password. This whole thing's gonna be over by tomorrow, okay? I want you to go home, pack, and I'll meet you there. Okay? Mary, don't go to Tim's house, okay? Forget about me. Forget about the deal, forget about everything, and just get out while you can, okay? It's gonna be okay. All right? Don't worry about it. Hey! Hey, it has a... Oh, God. What the hell? Hey. Oh. I didn't think we'd see each other again so soon, but I guess circumstances have changed. Oh. My orders have changed. I thought I'd let you know that before I carry them out. Oh. I wouldn't do this unless it was necessary, so you'll forgive me. Oh. you like. You know, I should thank you. I was getting complacent. A little bored with the job, you know what I mean? Nothing like an asshole to get the old juices flowing again. I'd like to keep visiting like this. But it's time to play. You bet your life. I was supposed to be next. What's going on? Barry, please. I just killed a man, goddammit! Now what the hell is going on? Barry, I told you to get out of this and you wouldn't He not cleaned listen. out his entire account. Barry, please. Get... You've been lying to me, haven't you? From the beginning, this has all been a lie. It's all been a setup, all right? He's been using me to rip them off. 
Jesus Christ, I don't get this. I don't get it. They killed him once. They blew him up on the boat. I, they, why, why? I'm impressed. <laughs> you know? You figured it out. I really wasn't sure that you would, but you did. I gotta say, you know what? It's been entertaining as hell. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, it's me. Hey, listen, you called. You were the one that said you wanted to come to sunny L.A., okay? Is that when all this started? Sure. Look, I wanted to get out of the business. I couldn't figure out how. Then your call comes, and as they say, the penny began to drop. So this, this has all been an act, right? Come on, I can always count on you in the pinch. As a matter of fact, Bitter, I always know exactly what you're gonna do. And you know what? That's your fatal flaw, Bear. You're just too goddamn predictable. So all that crap about you and him being finished was, that was just a lie, right? Oh, her. She. A hell of an actress. <laughs> I'm telling you. Huh? She missed her calling, right? Hollywood, babe. That's her ticket. And you want to know something? She made me nervous as hell because I actually thought she was starting to fall in love with you. Just out of curiosity, who hired the hitman? Come on, that was them. You know, I took the money, they got pissed. And these guys play rough, especially if you rip them off. You know, but I knew that going in. See, this is the beauty of it. The guy who thought that you were me he was just trying to scare you, so he give the money back. But uh, I gave him a little more, so he did a little something extra for me. He didn't care. I mean, they're all in it for the money. He was so easy to buy. He's not doing anything now. I killed him with your gun. You did? <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I mean, with the one under the table? Oh, man, I mean, you can imagine how, uh, how surprised I was to see you show up here, right? I mean, because let's face it, this was a great plan, right? I had everybody thinking that you're me. Then I got Barry out on the boat, in the explosion, chaos ensues, everyone's running around like rats in a maze, gives me perfect time to do a nice, clean little departure with Sid here. The only thing I didn't figure on, the only thing, is I thought you'd be dead by now. I really thought that that guy would have done his job. But, <laughs> as they say, you just can't get good help. Anyway, listen, the uh, time is ticking. I think it's time that uh, we get moving. Where are we going? We? No, 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 no. There is no we. Sid and I are gonna take all that money, 12 million in case you're interested, and we're gonna go down to South America. And, uh, just so you know, dear friend of my heart, you're staying right here. Tim, no! you, you stupid son of a bitch. How do you think that makes me feel, huh, Barry? You think I'm gonna let you walk away now? Man, 
man. I had this all worked out to a T. And you screwed it up. Jeez. I mean, my woman falls in love with you, and then you kill my hitman? I mean, what the hell is that? Can't you get anything right? Get him! Agent Nelson. Aren't you forgetting something? Three people are dead, Catherine. All deals are off. You can't do that. This wasn't his fault. He did everything we asked and then some. Sir, we went to him. We enlisted his help. We owe him. We can't go back on that now. Hey, Kat. I didn't know you were back. I have the budget documents you requested. Hey, Paula. Yeah, I got back this morning. How have you been? Uh, I'm fine. I'm just trying to put up with the old grizzly bear here. Do you two mind? You can swap stories later. Right now, Paula, Agent Nelson's gonna dictate a letter to you that, um... I will then sign. You can word it any way you want. We'll make it official. Thank you. You're welcome. Off the books. It can never happen. You know, when, um, when your friends of the agency came to see me in St. Louis and told me what a big target Tim Gates was and how my Passed with him, helped them get him and his whole operation. He had given up on yourself. I just didn't think it was possible to erase the past. I didn't believe it. I don't believe it. What happened at the academy no longer exists. For five years I dreamed about this. I thought this was what I wanted, but I'm not so sure. You know what happened to Sid? It wasn't your fault, Barry. And if you still plan to be a cop, you have to know that it's never going to be easy. It's never going to be clean. People get killed. That's right. You know that now you can apply to any law enforcement agency in the country. They would be proud to have you. Of course, you could do a lot worse than join up with us. Are you offering me a spot? <laughs> I can't exactly offer, but uh, I like that idea. You think we'd make a good team? <laughs> Louis, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. It's Barry. <laughs> <laughs> 